Hello and welcome to the 20th lesson of our WordPress Beginner to Advanced course where we are becoming job ready to start providing freelance web design services with WordPress and Elementor and so far we have started building websites on live servers and now in this video I'm going to show you how you can get a free domain and free hosting to start creating your sample or portfolio websites at the beginning stage. So without further ado, let me take you to the website which I'm going to use to get free domain and free hosting. So here, profreehost.com, I'm going to attach the link of this website into the video description for you for sure. And first of all, after visiting to this page, you have to click on this create account. And then let me cross this ad from here. And after that, we have to provide our email address and then a password. So let me provide my email address here. And I'm going to provide a password. And after that, I'm going to click here on this right sign. All right, so here we have got account created on this website, but now we have to create a new hosting account inside this website. So as you can see, activate account, please activate your account first. Did not receive, okay. So they have sent us an email on our email address that we have provided and now we have to activate the account and it is pretty simple. Just go to the email address which you have provided and after that click as you can see account activation, click here and you are going to find this option activate account. Simply click on it and here you go. Your account has been activated successfully and after that we are just signed in on our account and now if you just notice here you do not have any account yet created uh, create one now so basically we have created an account for this website so far and now we have to create a new hosting account and here is the notification now it's time to click on this create new account button right here and after that as you can see we are getting a free domain if you want you can add a custom domain but we, we are talking about getting free domain and free hosting so obviously i'm going to select this you can select any one of these extensions like una ux or is it yro.com so i'd love to go with this one and after that let's keep the free domain selected and then you have to provide the domain name right here which you are trying to get on let's say i want to create a website like rafi one dot una ux dot com so i'm going to put my name right here like um rafi one and just take a look rafi one dot una ux dot com is available so now we have to click on this right icon so let me click on this button right here and as you can see we are getting our hosting account created so we have to wait until it just get uh, stopped loading this um, icon so let's just wait all right so here we go we have got the hosting account created successfully and i had to wait around five minutes to get this account activated now we have to go for the next step simple we have to click on this manage button right here and after that we'll find all the information as you can see username status which is active then we have got this main domain name so if i click on this rafi onenauxcom we are going to find a page where it is been activated as you can see congratulations your account is active now now you can get to work and they have got some uh, information here for us so we are going to come back later here but before that let me take you back to client area and now we want to get or visit our control panel of this hosting and to go for the control panel we have to click here on this button right here and it is going to redirect us to the control panel within like few seconds okay so i am seeing this your connection is not secure you don't have to worry about this stuff this stuff so we have to simply click on this advanced button and after that click on this proceed to c panel so let's click on continue and now it is going to load after that you have to click on this approve button and it is going to redirect us to the cpanel of this web page and here we are we are on the control panel of the hosting and now we'll be able to see all the options as you can see online file manager directory directory privacy database domains 
add on domains, email, then we have got so many options about security software at EDC at EDC. So whatever it is available on a paid hosting plan. So now it's time to go for creating our website. To create our website with um, WordPress, we simply have to go a little bit down until we find this software options and from here if you notice this one softaculous apps installer if we click here on this button it is going to take us to the page where we'll find so many cms's or the scripts available as you can see wordpress zoomla avantikart then we have got so many uh, scripts which you can start creating website suite so as we want to create a website with wordpress obviously we have to select this one so let's click on install from here and wordpress is going to be uh, appearing here and now it's time to start creating our website as you can see version of wordpress which is the latest version and it just taken automatically and now as you can see we have got this website address everything looks good and in directory make sure it is always blank okay and after that here site settings site name here we have to provide a site name so i'm going to type out here free um, website for practice just as an example this is the website which we website with free domain and hosting okay now in right after this site settings like providing site name and site description we have got the options to provide the admin username for the website and the password so i'm going to provide a, an admin username which is going to be rafi and the password is going to be a, an easy one so i'm going to provide an easy password and after that yeah i'd love to keep this as it is after that you can change your admin email address if you want but i'd love to go with the email which i already have then we have got site language so as you can see select language we have got english selected but if you want you have many more options from here which you can select from so let's keep english as of now and after that we can simply keep these things as they are now it's time to go a little bit down i am not even going to install any theme from here we are going to select a theme from the back end of wordpress letter so now it's time to click on this install button straight forward so let me click here and it is going to take as you can see this may take around three to four minutes to get wordpress installed on this uh, domain name and hosting plan so let's just wait while it is being loaded and here we go we have got congratulations the software was installed successfully now we'll be able to access our wordpress backend from this administrative url if i click here it is going to take us to the wordpress backend from where we'll be able to upload a new new theme we'll be able to start customizing the theme to build a beautiful website for us just take a look we have got this plan so now if i visit this web page okay so here we have got this by default page settled already so in this case we have got some instruction as you can see following are some suggestions to build your website quickly delete the html file before uploading your website so we have to delete this html file from the file manager from our control panel so let me take you back to the c panel from here and after that if you just notice this option from files we have got online file manager simply we have to click here and after that we have to go to htdocs and then you are going to find this html file index dot index 2html simply right click on this file and then click on this delete button and after that click on confirm and now if i take you back here on this dashboard and if i just click here on visit site just take a look we have got wordpress installed now let's say you want to change the theme and input demo content this is pretty simple i'm going to show you in real quick so from the back end if i take you to appearance from themes if i click on themes we are going to find few options already now i'm going to click on this add new theme button right here and after that i would love to upload the theme from popular and let's say i want to upload this uh, let me see which one cadence i'm going to click on install you can choose whatever theme you want to install and activate 
and we have got this theme installed already so now it's time to click on this activate button and we have got the theme already activated as well it's time to click on this install cadence starter template button right here so let me click here and it is going to install the um, extension which is going to help us get the starter templates and select the builder so where we have to select elementor and after that you can choose whatever template you want from this list so let's say i want to uh, i want to work on um this template as of now so i simply i have to click here and after that i have to click on this full site button and i have to click on start importing button right here so it is going to check and install the required plugin so here for this website it requires this elementor so it is going to download elementor and install it and after that it will activate the plugin for us and then it will start importing this uh, theme for us and it is going to give us a beautiful looking website within few minutes so let's just wait while it is being uh, while it is working in the background and just take a look we have got finished view your site if i click on this view button right here you are going to see a beautiful beautiful looking website appeared right in front of our eyes just take a look how beautiful this website is so this was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful on getting a free domain free hosting and a beautiful website so if you have found this video helpful please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future i hope to see you in my next videos thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye